Hey everyone, what's up? Anyway, I just did a uh, video on me drawing. Oh, where, where are they? Where did they go? Me drawing uh, those cards that I just did. I'm selling those, so I'm actually slowly making them. <laughs> You know, but I'm, but I am offering you guys to, uh, if you ever want to, is to actually, if you want to come up with your own ACO design that you want to actually to buy and such, you could still do that. Um, uh, let's see. Um, I was actually. <laughs> Sam Proof, my gosh, you know, it's, it's too funny. When I was, uh, when I was watching so many zine videos and how to make your own this and that and book binding, when I was, when I was making, when I was making, I never made one, but, uh, this will be my first one. It just I need a uh, long. Um, I just need a long stapler. The one that I have doesn't quite fit, so um, but I'll probably do that later on uh, this week or whenever, whatever. But um, when I was looking through how to make a zine. I actually saw your video, you know, your thumbnail, and it's like, oh, I know that dude. I know that long hair, uh, uh, Rastafari look looking dude. It's like, that was like made, that video was like made in uh, 2007. I just, I just started. Uh, YouTube in 2006 and I was thinking well then again I was just starting on YouTube and I didn't really tell anyone that I was an artist maybe I did but uh, <clears throat> but then I was still working at the coffee bean uh, then but uh, uh, three years three years later uh, they, they laid me off, and so, might as well just go to work for myself. So I did. And, uh, that, that actually looks like I was punching myself in the face. <clears throat> but, so I did. Um, all I have to do is, when I, now I'm, now I'm figuring out what to do what to make, and so on and so forth. I'm still doing portraits. They're still the same price. I'm still doing canvas stuff if you want uh, to have those. Those are still $75. Um, man, I'm just been looking, looking and, you know, getting so many ideas, different ideas on you know, different YouTubers that, uh, that I never really exist, that I knew that really existed until I, until I was stumbling, hmm, making, you know, self-publishing your own manga. Then I discovered, uh, uh, Holly Brown. Then through her, in the in the thumbnails, I I saw someone named Monster Paws. She is she looks pretty cool. I mean, her art is awesome. Holly Holly Brown's art is is good. I was talking to her on Twitter, and uh, I don't know who you had for your high school teacher, even though that I'm like uh, you know ten years older than you, but still, when I was in high school. I wasn't really that active in art. I mean, yes, I was, but I, but my teachers, they, they had the weirdest, um, 
they had the weirdest projects that we were doing. One of them ended up being oil paints. And I ended up, mind you, uh, uh, oil paints and denim jackets don't mix. So, um, so yeah, two days in a row we were doing, uh, uh, oil painting. I still, I still have, I still have mine and one of them is like a very fucked up, uh, uh, Japanese-esque, like, Homer Simpson. And I had no idea what, what I was thinking when I did that. But the second one was pretty cool. Uh, I'm actually going to think about on um, inking that one. It was a uh, Mario and Sonic, and they're both in a Street a Street Fighter, uh, um, a Street Fighter uh, background. Hell, with that one, I might just you know repaint it. And just do it in, in acrylic. You know, I I work so much better in acrylic than, than oils. How I probably would do, redo the whole thing and just, you know, completely just uh, make it all white. Make it look like it looked like I just drew it. And just repaint it all. I know that will take some time. <coughs> <clears throat> but I know that I can do it. If I get the right brushes, the right, uh, if I get uh, the correct paint or whatever, I mean, I still have the paint, but I just have to uh, probably get um, a little, one of those little palette things. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um... But yeah, I, I I learned so many different things on YouTube just the past like four days or something. I learned self blinding with thread, with wax thread actually, with staples. Of course, everyone knows how to do that by now. <clears throat> I've seen those around with you know the pamphlets and. You know, if you go to conventions and such, they one of them actually did have a zine-like thing, but it was a concept for their for their anime company, which probably doesn't exist anymore. I mean, the the uh, convention itself probably doesn't exist anymore. So I was thinking. Wow, I I've seen these around, but I never knew what they were until until now. <laughs> so I believe by the time when I turn forty this year, I'll probably start working on so many different projects. You know, I'm finally coming around to the to the uh, reality on I want to make a comic, finally. And when I learned how to uh, <clears throat> to do the saddle, st saddle stitching for, uh, you know, with uh, staples and with, uh, with thread, I was thinking on making my own sketchbooks. You know, you know, like, instead of going to like Michael's or whatever I could just go to like some, I could just go to the paper source store and just uh, get like a bunch of uh, reams of uh, cardstock paper and just make my own sketchbooks you know, I mean I can, I can make as many as I want as thick as I want, if if they would, uh, if I can, if I could do that. But well, even with even with that, um, I learned uh, the Japanese threading, you know, technique, and that one's pretty cool. 
I've seen those around too. And it just didn't dawn on me until now. <laughs> until later on, you know. It seems kind of funny. So I was, um, I was thinking of that. And when I was watching Holly Brown's videos, I was, you know, thinking on wanting to get a light box because I wanted one of those for, for, for years. Ever since I was, when, when did I get mine? I had one of those, I had one of those, uh, those old ones where, where it's a, it's a tray where you can actually clip, uh, a light underneath it and it all just, uh, illuminate. Later on, I don't know where the lamp, I don't know where the, the light went, but, you know, you could, you could get those anywhere, I'm sure. <clears throat> but I think it came with the, the tray. But the tray actually ended up breaking, and, you know, it was plastic, and, you know, I was like, might as well just get one that looks exactly like an iPad Pro. <laughs> but it's a, but it's a, a light box, but it'll be a little bit smaller than, than, uh, you know, than my, uh, my iPad right now, but, well, it'll be a little bit bigger. More, more like, more like, uh, more like, uh, the, the page would be, for the light box, it would be just the same size as a, as a, pa as a paper. So, um, you know, and I looked at the price, it's like, wow, that's, that's pretty cheap for a light box. It's like, wow, and, and, and I was talking to Holly on Twitter, like, uh, I was asking her questions, and, and one of the things that she had was an autograph that looked exactly like one of the original iPads. It was, it was thick, it was, well, she said, well, she says it's a lot better, it's a lot heavier than the, uh, Premier one. I wanted to get the. I, I want to get the Premier one because that would be that would be so so useful for me if I'm going to like the mall or something and you know the USB charger thing. Just <laughs> it'll be kind of cool to see that uh, to actually have people. Uh, crowd around me and say, oh, this is pretty cool. What is he doing? And, um, which I haven't had, uh, much problem before, but, uh, but doing something different and actually creating something that I want to make, it would probably be like, whoa, it would be a uh, game changer for me, at least, until, you know, I get the whole digital thing. I still do the digital. I have Media Bang on my iPad or on my Mac too. And um, I think Media Bang for the iPad is exactly like Photoshop, either if it's on, on a Mac or Windows. And I really like that application. I mean, if you have an iPad, get Media Bang right away. It's free. You know, it looks exactly like Photoshop. It runs almost identically to Photoshop. And the good thing is that you can actually make your own comics on it. Co um, cover and all, actually. And it'll have, like, all the all the dimensions. And it'll, ha it'll have all the... The um, it won't have it labeled or anything, but you know, it's basically a uh, Japanese manga creating app. And when it came out for uh, Android, you know, people, you know, like probably like ninety percent of people are using that on. Uh, 
both Android and iOS. And I want to get the I want to get a uh, Samsung tablet because I wanted to I wanted to uh, try the Midi Bang version on on that, but it's called Midi Bang Pro Mini. And how I knew about that is through like different artists on on YouTube, and I was thinking, hmm. Maybe this is the year to finally come out of my rock that I was living under for I don't know how many years, but uh, it'll just it'll uh, make me uh, be familiarized to make a comic again. I haven't made a comic in like twenty years. The last one I made was a, uh, a little comic strip. I still, I think I still have it. The comic strip of me, well, not really me, but uh, a, a guy asking a girl out on a date. That actually did. That actually did happen, and and uh, <laughs> someone, someone in my class wanted to uh, wanted to help ink. So, okay, sure, why not? He, he's pretty cool. I don't know. I think his name was Eric. I don't know his last name. I probably will find him in in a yearbook or something. I'll probably end up finding him on Facebook just to see just to see if he's around. But it would be kind of cool to, uh, you know. I want to try to meet other artists. You know, collab with other artists. And, um, so the, so the little comic that I'm thinking on making is an introduction comic for one of my characters, his name is Cool Duck. And no, he doesn't look like Donald Duck. Although, he looks like, um, he looks like, uh, Darkwing Duck. The same... The, the same length of his head and the feathers on his hair or on his head but um, but mine is a little bit different than that so everyone seems to like my dot character <laughs> I just need to have it copyrighted now once I, once I have that then I can actually make a uh, comic and actually sell it and, you know, so yeah, that's me and that, that's been me in a nutshell lately, so, um, but yeah, Tuesday, I'm getting Rogue One, I'll probably watch it, I still haven't seen episode 7, I mean, yes I have, but I haven't seen episode 7 ever since I got it on Blu-ray. But, um, I'm thinking on focusing more on my art than actually getting and buying movies because at least I would get, um, get something back from, from anyone who wants to sell my, or to buy my stuff. Thinking on creating a, um, Store envy and maybe uh maybe another tongue board page. Maybe another tongue board page just to I have one for mad already, but uh something that actually has to do with the stuff that I'm doing, the projects that I'm doing. So I'm thinking I'm doing that. And so, yeah. Oh, well, you know. Anyway, I'll talk to you all later. And, and, it's, and this is another nightly vlog. Nightly vlog and it's 12.24 a.m. 
every single time when it's nighttime, I always like doing videos pretty well. So yeah, other than that, have a nice day and take care. And oh yeah, don't work too hard.